Happy Thursday. I figured I'd give an update. Everyone's talking about this rate uh, drop. So we saw a half a point from the Fed instead of a quarter point. And everyone's like, well, wait, what's going on with rates? I haven't seen a 30 year fix change. So the way to kind of think about this is it's like trading on news for uh, stocks. You want to trade on the news and sell um, when they announce. And um, so that's kind of what's going on with, uh, with the interest rates. The Fed it was, they'd already lowered the 30 year fix over this last month slightly based on the anticipation of this drop, but the Fed dropping it just meant it stayed fairly status quo and saw, in fact, we saw about an eighth of a point pop, but it symbols symbolizes a downward trend that's gonna be continuing according to the Fed three more times, two to three more times by the end of the year. So I think it will directly affect that 30 year fix. So good things to come um, if you're a buyer, uh, a lot of people, I would bet this weekend is going to be slammed with open houses just because I think buyers are seeing this as a symbol that we're at bottom and seeing a downward trend that's going to sustain. The three years of buyers that have not bought, I think are going to see the first ones coming out. Um, and then probably, typically what happens is in the fall, it slows down. So also a good time to buy. Um, now I'm going to switch gears a little bit. And what does this mean for sellers? So sellers, if you've been waiting for the market support to be able to put your home on the market, or if you've been, uh, you know, dissatisfied with how things have gone this year, um, it's not a bad time to start anticipating the spring. And I know it seems like it's far away, not even spring, really January, February, uh, because what you want to do is start prepping your house now. So one of the things I've done four times this week is we have clients that are going to be putting their home on the market in the spring. And right now, um, you're looking at green grass and flowers everything's beautiful perfect time to do a steady cam video and a drone flyover and have the house prepped and ready at the very least the outside shoot that because if we come on the market a little early in say january when everybody's grass is brown because it's dormant until february or march you've got packaged an entire selling listing marketing package that shows off your home especially the exterior and the green grass to its best and so talk to me let me know if you want to work on that also you know you need to prep your house you think it'll take you a week to do paint touch up and move some things around and then you start going through boxes and it takes forever it always takes longer than expected so i would say not too early to start discussing that we're going to go through the kind of normal november december that are slow with holidays and then typically i think this year we'll probably see an earlier pickup in january it starts to really ramp up february and march but having all that ready, starting to think about the prep of what it's going to take for next year, we're going to get through this crazy election. We're going to see rate drops. And I think we're going to see double the absorption rate compared to what we had this last year, which would not be hard to do. So um, I think next year we're going to start seeing absorption at a significant level um, once we get through all the rest of this and with the downward trends in rate. So call me if you have any questions, giving you an update on kind of what I'm seeing out there. Hope you guys have a good weekend.